In this video, we will be looking at TPC 2025.10. I will give you a quick product overview of all the new enhancements and updates that has been made in the latest version of TBC. Let's have a look at all the new enhancements and updates made in TBC 2025.10. First of all, we'll start with the connected workspace UI that has been enhanced. As you see, when I open it up, signing into your TID. And that is the look and feel you will get now. So it will look more like Trumbull Connect itself. The functionality is exactly the same as we previously had. You'll just see a better user experience coming forth now. So this will make it much easier and you can see you can find all your information still there it works exactly the same way as previous just the upgrade to the ui to look more conforming to trimble connect next we did the travis adjustment enhancement so an open lsa uh, and baruch adjustment uh, for least square adjustments as well so now you can actually have an azimuth adjustment if you have that measured between two points, you can now calculate your traverse using that azimuth adjustment. As you see in the bottom right there, that option has now been added to traverse adjustments in TBC. Next up, we also enhance the VCL exporter. So this helps with the field to finish, um, offers to field. And that will simplify the VCL exporter for both SiteWorks and Earthworks. And it utilizes, utilizes the existing project link exporter. And that coupled with the VCL cleanup and ab ab abilities um, makes it better to work with Works Manager VCL as well to marry that up. As you can see here, we also added the Trimble Grid Factory, a new and improved one. Um, import and edit ASCII files to customize coordinate system files. Uh, you can customize your GUI, datums or shift grid files and a heat map for quality control as displayed as well. Next up is the Trimble Geodetic Library, a uh, time-dependent datum at specific epochs. So uh, when you work on a time-dependent datum but at a specific epoch um, more for advanced users but it's essential in regions with massive ground movement or needing or needing to work in ITRF at a specific epoch so you can now calculate coordinates at a specific epoch uh, instead of the default reference epoch uh, as you can see in this example you can now change it to the desired epoch for your work that you need to complete in the photogrammetry part uh, we have now added automatic ground control point detection as you can see on tbc i have a photogrammetry project open you do your normal adjust photo stations in the beginning once that has completed and you applied it if you then go to the adjust photo stations and you go to absolute adjustment you will now see a run automatic target detection added so all you need to do is add a control point and you will see the run automatic target detection option now available add all the control points you need before you run that command as you will see i will just add these points and once you've done all them simply click on the run automatic target detection and tbc will detect the targets as you can see in the Overlay here with the supported types of targets that we currently support is there as well. So those are the ones that TBC will automatically detect uh, for you in the photogrammetry module. We also added support for DJI Matrice 4E. So you will now be able to process the baselines as you did your normal um, Mavic processing and DJI Matrice processing. You can now also do that for baseline processing in for the Matrice 4E, and that is now supported in TBC as well. Uh, we also added a height shift uh, for photogrammetry projects. So if you have a error in your heighting or you need to adjust that height, you will see we now have a set height shift command. So that will just help you to correct the height from the GNSS to make sure that your control points and your GNSS is much closer and it gives you much better accuracy uh, for your project going forward when you process it. 
For point clouds, uh, we have enhanced the core capabilities, point cloud classification, we enhanced the classification for overpasses, as well as enhanced classification of traffic signals. Uh, so it will be much faster um, to train the AI model as well, and we have also improved the UI UX for the AI model training option in TBC. Uh, the new traffic sign extraction, uh, we decrease the processing time there and extraction of sign with multiple posts and cantilever signs have also now been added into the classification that we have in TBC. Then for transportation infrastructure, pavement inspection, QAQC workflow, we've enhanced that. Um, the QAQC table for pavement inspection workflow, guide quality control of the outputs generated by the PCI AI, uh, adjustment of the treatment for pavement section and creation of output for the field crews responsible for the on-site repairs. This workflow built together with the DOT construction teams helps you to streamline the work that needs to be done as well as provide simplified estimates for cost of repairs as well. So that enhances that workflow when you need to take it back to the field and the repairs needs to be done. Uh, connection with ESRI database through feature service. So integrating pavement condition inspection with ESRI feature service has been added. So you can write pavement condition inspection results to the ESRI GIS system now. Um, with ESRI being a leader in GIS, most of our customers are using that project. So we want to seamlessly integrate that to make it easier for you to get that information into your ESRI database. Uh, pavement inspection workflow improvement we've also done is the new analysis mode for road network allows the user to run pavement assessment based on predefined road segments so you will now be able to feature servers or import vector data instead of automatically generate sample units and segments uh, additionally multiple runs can be analyzed and uh, now user can export sample units and segments as polygons with attributes so there we have the new enhancement there for the road network Mobile mapping, uh, re-MTA library update uh, to process and convert MX9, MX90, RXP raw scan data. Um, we've added that. The POSPAC uh, CL updates for TBC mobile mapping subscription customers. So that will support the R12i GNSS data when used as a GNSS base station for mobile mapping uh, work that you've done. Um, Mobile mapping data registration, the global adjustment to move to control all the runs of a mission. So now rigidly move all mission data to control in a registration and after a LIDAR QC adjustment session. So that makes it easier to do that now. And the utility model will now be added to the mobile mapping subscription license for clients that need that functionality. On to cadastral and GIS, uh, CSV transformation, so get all your data easily exchanged. Also, if your data has different coordinate reference systems, so now when you import a CSV file, you can select the coordinate system of your CSV data at import, and then you can set the target system uh, for your CSV file at export as well. Model-based feature collection, so implementation of model-based feature collection and processing in Trimble Access for large-scale cadastral parcel plot surveying campaigns um, and markets. So you can see we are enhancing that and making that easier to do. Um, as you can see in this little short video, the uh, export data to Trimble Access includes lines and attributes. You then export that as a JXL file and you then send it to Trimble Connect and you can then get that data in Trimble Access. Once you got it in Trimble Access, you can make adjustments in the field, do the edits that is required uh, for the work that you do. And once you have completed that, you can send that information back to Trimble Connect and then download it in TBC through the connected workspace and the modifications done in the field will then be available in TBC.
project separation so we just made it easier for you to add a reference number so that name reference number if you put it in your project settings it will now be pulled through into your project project id for feature attributes will now be linked to that project reference number as well as as you can see here it will go into uh, the jxl files and all the other data so you can easily track that specific reference number for your project in TBC. For tunneling and mining, we added a mining design conformance report. So this new mine design conformance report uh, empowers mine surveyors to deliver critical insights by visually showcasing as built versus design differences through surface and cross-section views. Uh, this report also provides detailed volumetric volumetrics between cross sections highlighting over dig and under dig uh, in your project by enhancing the survey's ability to inform stakeholders on mine progress and volumes this tool directly aids in the final cleanup process verification and ultimately boosts overall mine productivity for the tunneling visualization and data integrity has been improved so improved volume calculation for irregular surfaces um, comparing um, comparisons providing a more accurate value uh, when inspecting objects like mining vertical shafts and large foundations and piles and tunnel setouts can be viewed in 3d and plan view now for visualization as well as the coordinates shown in the table view allowing more visibility for quality control when looking at design revisions and planning for field stakeouts Drafting in CAD, uh, so a few enhancements that's been made that is really nice to see. Um, capture outline, so in this little video you will see if you have a building and you just want to capture the outline of that building, you simply have to click on the two walls and once you've gone around all the specific walls that you would like to capture you simply then compute it and tbc will complete those 90 degree angles for you and it's much easier to now get the outline uh, of a room or a building that you have scanned using that information uh, we've simplified the angular dimension style so Two additional settings in the dimension style manager lead to new dimension styles so as you can see there uh, draw lines and arrows and you can now just say perpendicular and that makes it much easier to add your angles into your tbc dimension styles uh, small but very beneficial to everyone i hope is the open project folder we have now added it into your quick access toolbar um, in the project settings on the left down the bottom you can see if you right click on anything you will get it as well as in the import export command you will also now find a shortcut to the project folder uh, which makes it much easier to get to that uh, when you need it And that closes out all the new enhancements and features updates that we did in TBC 2025.10. Mm -hmm.